टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट पोरिफेरा सिलेंट्रेटा प्लैटेहेलिमेंथस नेमाटोडा एनलीडा ग्रुप्स ऑफ इनवर्टिब्रेट्स ऑफ किंगडम एनिमलिया मेनी एनिमल्स आर सीन ऑल अराउंड अस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दीज इज नेसेसरी फॉर स्टडिंग देम वर्चुअली All animals are eukaryotic, multicellular, and heterotrophs. Their body is definitely made of cells, but the cells of their body do not have cell wall like cells of the plant body. Most animals are movable; that is, they can move from one place to another. Animals all around us are found with different body structures and different sizes. We can find similarities and classify animals based on different characteristics like arrangement of cells, body symmetry, patterns of digestive system, nature of coelom, circulatory system and reproductive system. Let us understand some features. Levels of organization. Cells in some animals, like sponges, are in scattered clusters, which we will call cellular level organization. In some animals, such as ciliate, cells perform their function by forming tissue. This is called tissue level organization. in some animals such as liver fluke and other higher associations tissue organizes and makes organs where each organ performs a specific function in some animals different organs together make an organ system and perform special functions in the body symmetry some animals such as body of crab can be divided into two parts in a plane in such a way that the two parts are exactly like each other we say that such animals are symmetric some animals like sponges are asymmetric diploblastic and triploblastic organization in some animals like hydra cells are arranged in two embryonic layers such organization is called diploblastic in some animals such as rabbits cells are arranged in three embryonic layers such organization is called triploblastic coelom some animals such as locust have a cavity between the body wall and the alimentary canal called coelom and those which has coelom in the body are called the coelomites some animals such as tapeworms do not have body cavity they are called acelomites in some animals such as roundworm the body cavity is in the form of sac scattered between the middle skin and the outer skin these animals are called pseudocoelomate segmentation the body of some animals like earthworms is divided into hierarchical segments on both external and internal side while the body of some animals like planaria is not fragmented classification of kingdom animalia can be done on the basis of the presence of rod like structure on the surface of the organism in the embryonic stage or any other stage called a notochord or a backbone animals whose notochord is present in the embryonic stage are called chordates whereas in other animals the notochord is not present they are called non chordates or invertebrate Let's explore the subclasses of invertebrata in this video. Porifera. These are a group of animals 
with pores commonly known as sponges. They are found in saline areas such as the sea. Some examples of these are Euplectilla, Spongilla, Sycon, etc. They are immovable and attached to some base. They have many pores in their entire body called ostia. They are connected to the canal system under which the circulation of water, oxygen and food takes place in the body. Their body is covered with rigid covering or external skeleton. Their body structures are simple and do not differentiate into tissues. They can produce offspring through sexual and asexual reproduction. Cylindrata or Cnidaria These include organisms like Hydra, Jellyfish, Anemone, etc. They are all multicellular aquatic animals and their body organization is at tissue level. Their body organization is more differentiated than that of Porifera. There is a coelom in their body. Their body is made up of two cell layers, outer skin ectoderm and inner skin endoderm and hence they are diploblastic. The space between two layers is filled with jelly-like substance which is made up of mesoglia. Some of their species such as corals live in groups while some species like hydra remain alone. They can reproduce both sexually and asexually. Platyhelminthus or flatworm These include free animals such as planaria and parasites such as liver fluke, tapeworm, etc. Their body structure is more complex than earlier classes and their body organization is at the organ level. Their body is dorsiventrally flattened. Hooks and suckers are found in their body, with the help of which they remain attached to the host body. They do not have cavity in their body, but two parts of their body can be made in such a way that both the right and left parts are exactly matching each other, that is, their body is bilateral symmetric. Their tissue differentiation is made up of three cellular levels, the outer skin, the ectoderm, the inner skin, the endoderm, and the middle skin, mesoderm. So, they are triploblastic. In these, both male and female reproductive organs are present in each organism and they can produce offspring through sexual and asexual reproduction. Nematoda or Escalimanthus or Roundworm These include roundworm, filarial worm, pinworm, etc. They are free-living, aquatic, terrestrial and they are also parasitic in plants and animals. They are bilateral symmetrical, triploblastic animals whose bodies are cylindrical and the last part is pointed. Tissues are found in them but the organs are not fully developed. Their sacrum body is called pseudocelum. Various diseases caused by nematodes in humans are elephantiasis and ascaris. Among them, male and females are different. Females are larger than males. Annelida or segmented worms. These include some aquatic animals such as nares, leeches and some terrestrial animals such as earthworms. Generally, they are bilateral symmetric, triploblastic animals. In these, body organization is at organ level. In these, the true body cavity is found. There are specific transportation 
digestive, excretory, and nervous systems for which the different organs are realistically differentiated. Their body is externally divided into segments. The various segments are connected to each other by ring like structures. These ring like structures are called annuli. Due to these characteristics, organisms in this group are called annelid. Annulus in Latin means subtle rings. Among them, some animals like Nerus are monosexual, that is, male and female are different, and some animals like earthworm and leech are bisexual. They produce offspring through sexual reproduction. Today, Today we have, we have learned, learned about Porifera, Slentrata, Platyhelminthus, Nematoda, Annelida, groups of invertebrates of Kingdom Animalia.